what's up? I got another video for you guys. Um, Altel sent me a new. Oh, they Altel sent me a scanner. It's an engine transmission ABS SRS um scanner. So this is a scanner that scans multiple systems. It doesn't just scan one. It scans the engine, which is the main one, which everyone scans. It scans the transmission, which is the transmission. It scans the ABS. That stands for anti-lock um braking system for the anti-lock brakes for the brakes that um um stop the car especially for like uh on the snow and different things like that and an srs you know for the steering the steering and everything the steering wheel and airbag system in the car okay so basically this one it reads codes it reads the transmission engine codes you can print out the data by uh sending it to your computer and it has like dtc lookup where you can look up the codes on the scanner without having to search the internet so um it came in this box it came with a nice case too it came with an all tail case love it all right comes with a zipper no, unzip this Let's see what's in here all right so it comes with Okay, it's the OBD2 cord comes about, comes with this the OBD2 cord, the scanner with a plastic on the on the front of it. Um, these nice buttons. The buttons are really really soft. They're really nice. Uh, comes with a USB cable to connect it to the computer. Comes with a quick reference guide, and that's about it. So all right. So right now, what you got to do is you got to screw this into. The top of the scanner so i'm gonna screw it into the top of the scanner and i'm just wreck the video okay so like i said you just put it in the top and then just screw these pins down into the top of it and that's it boom you're good to go okay so now take this out of the case put the case to the side okay now you find the obd d2 port on your car and you plug it in which is under the dashboard which I'm gonna plug it in. Uh, this is what the OBD2 port looks like. If you don't know what it looks like, that's it right here. That's what it looks like. And then this, uh, this plug, just plug it into it. And the scanner will boot on as it is right now, okay? So now the scanner's on, I'm gonna close the door. Okay, so it has the scan option and OBD2 um, option. So you take your key, which uh, this is the LX key, put in the ignition, turn it to the second position in order for the vehicle to give it power, enough power, in order for it to scan the system. It can't scan the system unless it doesn't have power. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna scan the car, Asian, which is an Acura. So you go to Acura. So now it'll scan through. Then you go to USA with the pad and you press the middle. Okay, start new session. So right now it's start starting a diagnostic session where it's scanning for codes in the vehicle. I'm gonna show you guys how to access the other stuff also on the scanner. Give you guys an in-depth more tour of the vehicle how using it how to use it so if you decide to purchase one this works great so i definitely advise you guys to definitely look into purchasing one of these the link will be in the description okay so they have different systems so let me go back as soon as you come to the main screen and you go into you can pick uh control vehicle details it'll show you vehicles vin and information for the vehicle and then you can go to control unit and this is where it goes to where you can actually scan the car the engine then the automatic transmission the srs and abs system Okay, so uh, I'm going to go to scan the engine for codes. This is the basic scan that you would scan in case you are going for inspection for the vehicle. This is the basic scan that you would need to pass. If you don't pass this basic scan, then your vehicle will not pass inspection. Okay, um, the regular scanners, they scan one system. This scanner scans like four different systems, so it's definitely worth it. You definitely want to scan it. I can scan multiple systems. And this is the newest one from the Altel line of scanners so you know you definitely want to pick up one of these so i have no faults on the systems because my tl is good 
it has no issues. The automatic transmission works the same way you go to it, you read codes. So everybody wanted to know, uh, does this have the VSA function where you can reprogram the button for the VSA button to reprogram it? We have my steering wheels in bad shape. I got to get a cover. So the VSA button here to reprogram it, like if you have like the... The thing like that on the dash, you can reprogram it with this machine also. So I'm going to show you guys how to reprogram it with this system. So I'm going to go to SRS system. They said the system should be on, which it is on, but they shouldn't be running. The engine shouldn't be running. Okay. So it's initializing. So basically what you have to do is first, you have to, if you have any codes for the ABS or uh, VSA system, you have to delete the codes first and then reprogram the button. Okay. That's how it works. But if you go to a full system scan and then you pick, choose to erase all codes for all systems. Okay. If you choose to do that, then um, it'll happen. See, these are permanent codes that I have for the SRS for the belt, the belt buckles these are for the belt buckles that's uh let me focus that's the 6210 and 6110 that's the driver side and the passenger side buckles that needs replacing but i'm gonna just i'm not taking it to the dealer to get them to do anything i'm just gonna do it myself and just order the buckles and do it myself and i'll make a video for that in case you guys are interested i'm not gonna go through the hassle of arguing with anybody or fighting with anybody in order to get work done and i'm not paying 130 dollars diagnostic fee when i already know what's wrong with the car so now i'm going to the abs system okay now having that code those codes for the for the seatbelt buckles um it doesn't that won't cause you to not pass inspection okay so the neutral test is basically what I was telling you about. The neutral test is what you would do in order to get the light off the dashboard if you had this light on the dash. So you would do the neutral test here and you would just, uh, so you would have to go to ABS, TCS, and VSA and then it would connect to the vehicle and then it would reprogram the button for you. So this is definitely, it's quick. As you guys can see, it loads pretty quick. Um, you just click on neutral test and... Uh, It'll do the neutral test. It'll say all sensors, just like I've showed you guys before. And that's it. Um, This one does have extra features where you can... um. Let me see. Just bear with me. Um, can do a regular code scan. So basically, like right now, it's linking to the vehicle. You can do like a purge test. Like for the system, the purge valve for the system in the car, you can actually do a purge test. And the purge test will actually tell you if your purge valve is actually bad for the car, for the gas cap, the loose gas cap um, thing on the dashboard that shows when it says that you uh, check your gas cap. So basically, right now, this is linking to the vehicle. So you can uh, run other tests on it. I'm not going to bore you guys with this. Okay. It's finished anyway. So basically it tells you your system status of the vehicle, uh, how many codes were found, different things like that. Monitors that are okay. Um, you can run live data, like see, you know, spark timing, different things like that. You can freeze frame, meaning you can freeze it. The I am ready is shows that you're ready for inspection. The I am readiness, the O2 monitor test. This can actually test your O2 sensors to tell you if the O2 sensors are bad or not. Um, the component test is where the, uh, the EVAP system leak test, you can actually run a leak test and um, it'll tell you if you have any um, problems with your uh, EVAP system. Um, modules present, it'll tell you what modules are present on a vehicle. The DTC lookup, you, where you can look up uh, the codes. If you get a code, you can look it up. A onboard monitoring test. I don't know what that is. I ain't messing with that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm not messing with that. Okay, yeah. So basically, uh, this is this scan is awesome, man. And as you guys can see, it moves pretty quickly. Um, it has really no issues, no problems. And I'm gonna put a link down in the description of the video if you guys are interested. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.